That's a field set here, folks. That is important to you at home. It's important to the batsman at the crease. As it determines where Dhoni might be looking to score. And a couple of days ago, he was ruled out of the series. Surprised everyone when he walked out there. To lead India. And it has come down to him. Dot ball is a big ball, 15 of 5 required. But that was dangerous. It was on a length, and slightly outside off stump. Ah, he's gone for the wide one, asking Dhoni to fetch it. But of course, the fielders he has outside the circle are the deep point, third man, deep square leg, and the long on. That is big, length, within reach of Dhoni. Nine required or four. Very predictable. Probably the length was the same as the first ball, but this time much closer to Dhoni. And all he does is swing through the line. Nine or four. Pressure on Niranga. Not sitting deep in his crease, expecting the Yorkers. Isn't he something, Mahindra Singh Dhoni, under pressure? India can sense hope. And why not? Five runs required of three balls with Mahindra Singh Dhoni. You have to go with India. Again, length. He was going down the ground, but sliced his, this, this time. He got it away from the fielder in the deep. Hit the top of point, and there are plenty of open spaces there. The sweeper goes much squarer now. More often at the death, you see batsmen sitting deep so that they can get underneath the Yorker. But Dhoni is not doing that. Magnificent. Magnificent Mahindra. He is unbelievable in so many ways. He has taken India to victory by just one wicket. Twenty-one runs he had to put on with Ishan Sharma, but never panicked at any stage. He went in the last over from Matthews. He reassured Ishan Sharma, leave it to me in the last over. And it's taken him only four balls. He had 15 to get, he's done it with two to spare. He's got ice running through his veins, to be quite honest. We've seen him do this on several occasions. It's still a sight to behold when he does it. And it must be said, it wasn't a great last over either. Not once did Iranga hit the block hole with a Yorker. He gave Tony exactly what he wanted. You just have to stand there, get on with it. But it takes some skill and temperament to do it. And he is one of the best at it. I would probably say this was one of the tightest finishes where he was concerned. A pitch, not an easy pitch. And he was left with the tail. Times before he's done it with batsmen on the other side, or even better batsmen. Today, 
used the tail and trusted his skills right to the end. Amazing self-belief from the Indian captain once again. Fully justifies his decision. Coming back and playing an all-important final. Take nothing lightly. A win is a win. You want to win everything in front of you. That's how your team will get better and better. What do you got to feel for the Sri Lankans? Came to a good fight right till the end. And even when that last over did start, they have been hoping for something to give. Showing a lot of character and never went away. They made lots of mistakes. But it's been a fitting final though. Oh, it's filled with excitement. You never know it if you look at Mahindra Singh Dhoni. Just a smile, he flashes a smile. He's back off to the confines of the dressing room. He's not jumping up and down. And Sri Lanka will rule with the fact that they collapsed in their batting at the end of their innings in the last quarter. They fought with the ball, but they were always up against it. They gave themselves a chance, folks, in this final. Well, this was on the offside. The winning hit. And if you think back a couple of years, it was over long on that he did win the World Cup against Sri Lanka. Russell, I don't understand that last over though, because exactly where you don't have protection, you don't have protection at long off. Not that it would have mattered probably, because a couple of times they cleared the fence, but the theory of bowling length of stump really seemed opposite to what should have been done. Yeah, the Sri Lankans did bowl into his zone. 